Sports in Time! Yeah! Red Rangers have almost always been the leaders of the various Power Rangers teams. Many have natural leadership and superior skills as taking control of a team takes a lot more than just calling in the Megazord. This list is based on my opinion as each of us feels a different approach to each Ranger. Leave your favorite Red Rangers in the comments. Over the years multiple Red Rangers have appeared and while all have proven their bravery, they can't all be on this list. We must start with Tommy Oliver who, although he has not been the best Red Ranger, is still a legendary Ranger. Tommy has twice held the position of leader as a Red Ranger. First it was in Power Rangers Zeo where he had his first opportunity as a Red Ranger, proving that he could lead the team with a great power such as the Zeo Crystal. Then he had another chance as the Red Ranger in Power Rangers Turbo. This time he was not in the whole season and had to give up his power, but in the short time he was there he proved that he was still an excellent Red Power Ranger. The reason why Tommy is not in first place on this list is that both moments of being the Red Ranger, were not his best moments. Tommy is best remembered in history for being the Green and White Ranger. He is even more remembered for being the Black Power Ranger in Dino Thunder. We continue with Carter Grayson from Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue. While Lightspeed Rescue is not one of my favorite series, I have to say that Carter deserves to be on this list. Carter has the attitude of a classic superhero who will do anything to save a life. He is able to break the rules and even risk his own life to save others. He has a noble soul and is a great firefighter with passion. One of the things we should point out about Carter is that, despite being a noble man, he is also a very strict leader and that is why everyone respects his leadership. Part of being a leader is knowing how to recruit as you must have the ability to see the talent in other people and recognize who can be that person you need. This was demonstrated when Carter is the one who starts recruiting all the Red Rangers for the Forever Red Battle. The next Red Ranger is Cole Evans from Wild Force Power Rangers. Although Cole initially had a hard time adapting to the modern world because he was raised in the wilderness by a tribe, he still had the ability to adapt and learn what he needed to be a great leader. Because he was raised in the middle of nature, he developed a natural ability, he had great agility and very good reflexes. Despite having lived such a hard life without his parents, that didn't stop him from excelling and becoming a Red Ranger by nature. We must remember that Cole was the one who destroyed Serpentera, Lord Zed's giant Zord, in the Forever Red episode. Next on this list is Eric Myers the Quantum Ranger. Although some may not consider him a Red Ranger just because he is not the leader of a team, he really is and this is demonstrated by his appearance in the Battle of Forever Red. Eric is the only sixth ranger to be a Red Ranger and to be part of a team that already had a Red Ranger. Even though he had a bit of a cold personality, he would show up at the most needed moments and help save the day. Moreover, he is one of the rangers who carries one of the most powerful weapons in the entire history of the franchise. Eric strongly desired to be accepted as a ranger and this caused him to prove his bravery on more than one occasion. One of the few women to be a Red Ranger was Lauren Sheba from Power Rangers Super Samurai. Being the first female Red Ranger carries a huge responsibility as it represents so much more than just being a Red Ranger. For years men have been the Red Rangers and team leaders, and very rarely has a woman led a team and been a Red Ranger at the same time. 
On top of this, Lauren carried the burden of her brother being the previous leader and the loyalty of the team was divided, which added another level of difficulty to the matter. Lauren had to earn everyone's respect and prove that she could be a great leader and one of the best Red Rangers ever. The power she has is incredible and her leadership is unquestionable. In the penultimate position, I must mention Andrus from Power Rangers in Space. Andrus managed to escape from villains like Divatox, Lord Zed, and Rita Repulsa. Besides this he had to fight against very powerful villains like the Psycho Rangers, Dark Spectre, and Astronema. Andrus had the hardest mission of all history and that was to sacrifice Sordon to save an entire galaxy. This mission, although it may seem easy, is actually the hardest of all. Imagine that you must take the life of your mentor by his own orders. It is a very difficult internal battle to decipher, and Andrus only had several seconds to make this decision and live with the consequences for the rest of his life. It is known that for all Power Rangers, Zordon was like a father, and therefore this mission becomes almost impossible. This makes him one of the best leaders in history as he made one of the most difficult decisions to save everyone else, even if it meant taking the life of a very important being, those decisions are only made by true leaders. There are many who will agree that the first on the list should always be Jason, the first Red Ranger and the leader of leaders. For the youngsters who watched Power Rangers from seasons 1995 onwards, I invite you to look up the episodes of the First Rangers, the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and you will get to know a great leader. Jason's leadership is so great that thanks to him the Power Rangers franchise had a great success from the beginning, unlike many other series that take a long time to start. From the first day you saw Jason on screen, almost every kid wanted to be the Red Ranger, and this was only because of Jason's influence. Despite Tommy Oliver being a legendary ranger, he would ask Jason for leadership advice. Jason's mark has been so impressive that despite only being in two seasons of Power Rangers 29 years ago, he is still the most influential Power Ranger of them all. If you like the Red Rangers, like this video, and subscribe to this channel to be the Power Rangers Red Ranger.